Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the new information that we got from the uh, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis unofficial server data mine slash leaks. Um, that's a pretty big deal, and I want to go through that. But first, I know that everybody who watches my channel is from the USA, and so not everybody's going to be celebrating this, but to those of you who do, happy freaking 4th of July. One of the America's biggest holidays, so happy 4th of July to everybody. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into uh, what dropped just, just about 24 hours ago on the leaks page. So this is what we got. Reawakened Beach Festival Draw. The swimwear from 2023 is available again. And this is like, I think for a lot of people who've been around for a while, both a pro and a con in some ways, right? So let's start with maybe the negative or the downside. Some people are gonna be a little bit upset that uh, we're getting this instead of the new Tifa banner, which I'm thinking we still will get, but it's possible that with the re-release of this, there may not be another banner. Hard to say, I don't really know. Um, and I will tell you, many of these outfits, uh, and we're gonna go through each one of them so that you kind of can you know, make it a decision maybe before the actual banner releases, but many of them are not nearly as strong as the stuff we've been seeing even you know over the last six months, right? But we'll go through them because I think a couple of them still have merit. Um, but the best part about this is this is the very first time that they've ever re-released a single costume in this game. And at this point, we're only like, we're less than three months away from one year anniversary. And this is the very first time they've ever re-released any costume. So for those of us though, who have missed costumes along the way, ah, this is a good omen, right? And maybe somewhere along around the one year, we might be seeing a lot more of these on like a separate banner. I think that's very cool. Very happy about that. And to be honest with you, because I started the game on day one and I got what I wanted from, you know, Cloud's Mirasame Battle Garb and everything like that, I actually, and, and still was so fresh by the time this event in this banner came out, I didn't get any of these guys. I don't have a single one of these costumes. So I can imagine there's other people that are in a similar boat and that's why we're gonna go through them. So we're gonna get started with Red. This is what his costume looks like. It is called the Seaside Aloha. And what it gives is boost HP plus 10, boost physical attack plus 10. Yeah way way down uh you know from what we're used to seeing now on these current outfits and this is something if you play red you'd probably only go for for cosmetics i don't think there's much to say about that yeah the boost hp plus 10 is something um but i'd probably if, if that was all you cared about i'd probably just wait for the next costume tifa's costume and this is called lifeguard is actually decent, I would say, okay? So it's boost HP plus 10 again, and boost heal plus 10. And although that's not overly strong, in fact, I wouldn't even call it average for what we're getting now, <sighs> putting Tifa in that utility slot and also letting her heal with lifeguard wraps is something that sometimes has a lot of benefit. So the heal plus 10 isn't that bad. Also, lifeguard wraps is in a unique position among AOE healing weapons in that it costs one ATB less than standard um, AOE heal weapons. So giving her more heal potential, I think is pretty good. And I wouldn't say that that makes this something I would be actively going for necessarily. But it is something to consider, and I don't think that it's completely phased out as far as usefulness yet. The next one we'll look at is Aerith, and this is the Sunny Robe. And this one here is boost HP plus 10, boost magic attack plus 10. 
again, pretty lackluster because magic attack plus 10 at this point in the game is just not that great. You know, when it came out, it was a lot better. Uh, it looks pretty cool. And so again, I think this is one that you probably would consider pulling for cosmetics if you're into that. But otherwise, I don't really think that there's, there's much of a reason to specifically go for this one. Last, we have Cloud and the Maritime Sailor outfit. So this is the outfit that I think has the most potential to want to be pulled, right? Or to, to aim for if you were going to pull on this banner. Honestly, I actually like the way it looks. I think it's pretty cool. But aside from that, it's boost HP plus 10 and water mastery. And as we know, mastery is always going to be 20% as opposed to Arcanum's 35. And it's water. And up until, you know, pretty recently, it was the only boost water thing we had uh, pretty much at all. Now, why do I think this one is kind of worth going for potentially? Well, it depends what you've pulled for. And for me, the only other thing I've pulled for is Tifa stuff, right? I've got the bunny gloves, etc. but that's magic water damage. So when I need physical water damage, <clears throat> like for example, in the current uh, battle ranking cloud is still my best source of physical water damage and honestly <clears throat> getting that water mastery for him is still pretty relevant i think now if we take a look at the weapon that goes along with this maritime sword um you can see where i've got it right now right i have it at level 90 ob6 exactly i quit wish listing it once i got it to ob6 because for a long time not only were we not getting much water, but there weren't many bosses or challenges in general that you know, needed water to be successful. That's kind of a much more recent thing. Uh, but you can see here, 620% at OB6. That's really not that bad. Uh, these sets here, you know, nothing amazing, but it's got the sigil break. You know, it, it's, uh, it's a fine weapon, honestly. And, you know, at OB10, you're looking at 750%. And so it's not quite as high as the weapons we're getting now. And obviously it doesn't have any additional abilities, which is what we are starting to see more and more of. So it is not going to be as strong as some of the stuff that we're seeing, you know, obviously for Glenn or for Zach. But I do think it depends too. You know, if you're a day one player but didn't get this costume... I, I think most of us probably have at least an OB6 Maritime Sword. To me, the weapon's still viable, and it becomes way more viable, and Cloud still remains way more viable with that costume. So that's something to think about. Now, will they come out with more, you know, water Arcanums, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? You know, your guess is as good as mine. Possibly, probably, depending how long, right? But in the meantime... I don't think it's bad if I were going to go for any of the costumes on this banner. That's the one that I would be considering going for. Okay, a couple more things that I want to go through uh, about the banner because I believe it is going to be a little bit different uh, than maybe just about any other banner we've seen before. So, obviously, this is not the banner that we're getting, but I'm going to kind of use this page to try to work some of these details out so um what we saw also okay is that there's going to be no featured weapons on this band it's just a costume band. again something we haven't quite seen before it looks like it's going to be 0.8 percent wish list which is a little bit lower because i believe the other just pure wish list banners are one percent Five pages, the 12th stamp on every page is a costume slot on pages one through four. Basically meaning that if you fill up four pages, you're getting all four costumes, right? So this slot is always going to be a costume on the first four pages. And then once all the costumes are obtained, which this is only going to apply to whales, um, you get 30 mithril ore in that slot instead. Okay. Uh, on, on page one, the sixth stamp right here, is going to be a five-star guarantee. Uh, and then the gill slots here are gonna be increased to 200 and 300K. Honestly, not that bad. One of the problems I've been having lately is actually running out of gill. 
That's a real thing. I've been running out. I know a lot of people still have millions. I spend mine. I upgrade all kinds of stuff. I have been perpetually broke now for the last two years. And then all of the pages after page one, they're going to be the same as page one. So a five star guaranteed weapon on the sixth slot, a costume guaranteed in the 12th slot, 200K, 300K, um, except also slots four and eight are also five star guarantees. So here and here, just like we've saw in those limit break banners, right? These are going to be also five star guaranteed. That only starts on page two and goes through page four. Um, so, and then page five is going to be the same EX stuff. So, hmm, what that tells me is that honestly, <laughs> this is like, it's really hard to evaluate because they've done a lot of good things. Uh, I love that they're, you know, starting on page two, uh, unfortunately, page two, four and eight and six, they're going to be three five star guaranteed weapons and a costume guaranteed in the in the 12th. To me though, I don't see a reason for most people to have to go past page one. If you're free to play, I almost cannot fathom a reason, uh, unless it's purely a cosmetic thing for multiple characters that you need to go past page one, which sucks because then you're not getting any of the additional stuff they're giving uh, with the extra five star you know guarantees. So, it's not that good. Also, I don't like that they've uh, lowered the percentage for wishless, wishless weapons. 1% uh, is higher than 8.8%. That's just that, right? It's actually considerably higher, 25% higher, right? Uh, so even though it's only 0.2, it actually matters. And I don't know. I just think with all the other stuff coming up, this is probably a skip unless you want that maritime card. And I'll be honest, that's something that I'm really going to to contemplate myself. However, um, I'm also going to be contemplating spending more on the game myself. So that might separate me a little bit more. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Wanted to go over that banner with everybody. This is supposed to drop on July 7th, 9 p.m. So three days from today and... That means that we're, I would say, most likely not gonna get uh, the part two banner that we thought we were gonna get. I think everybody was really anticipating getting uh, a Tifa banner. And that's the one that we all really want. I don't know. Does this change things? Um, this event goes to July 21st. Uh, that banner is supposed to drop July 7th. So, they could still drop a whole nother banner on July 14th, but they don't usually drop banners that only last for like a week. So I'm not, I don't know. I mean, I, they could always extend the time, but I don't know. I'm not sure how that's going to play. If that banner does replace getting a new one, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess I'm happy on some level, but it's an easy skip with Vincent coming up. But at the same time, uh, I would be... A little bit disappointed because I always like to see uh, new stuff. Reason, like a stronger reason, I guess, to pull. I'd like to know what you guys think. What do you think about the fact that they've finally started returning uh, old costumes? Because, like I said, that opens the door now for other ones. Uh, what do you think about the specific costumes that we're going to get? Or that banner? Is it something you guys are going to be pulling on, not pulling on? At this point, I think if you're not pulling, I pretty much know what you're saving for because we're getting closer and closer to vincent and that one year anniversary as well with all that said subscribe for future content if you're not already if you are i appreciate each and every one of your support and as always thanks for watching